Hey guys, what's up? It's Charlie here and today we're going to be looking at 10 toys that got kids in trouble or arrested. As kids, we all played with toys. They're pretty harmless, whether it be a Hello Kitty toy or a BB gun. But no matter how innocent toys are, there are always people who take things way too far. So here are 10 toys which caused kids a whole world of trouble. Before we get into it, be sure to subscribe to Little Things for more amazing content every day. And why not subscribe to Top 10s and join our notification squad? Also comment done when you've done this for a shout out at the end of our next video. Coming in at number 10, we have Hello Kitty. Hello Kitty is one of the cutest and most innocent toy brands. So, how on earth did a Hello Kitty toy get a kid into trouble? Well, if this video proves anything, it's that anything can happen. In 2013, one school named Mount Carmel School in Pennsylvania suspended a kindergarten student. And it was all over a Hello Kitty bubble gun. You probably thought she bought the toy in and was shooting bubbles. But no, she didn't even own the toy. The school actually suspended her for simply talking about the pink bubble gun. She was was minding her own business, telling a friend about the gun, and then all of a sudden, a teacher overheard her, sent her to the principal's office, and she was given a 10 day suspension. This is either the dumbest school in the world, or the scariest Hello Kitty toy ever. Yeah, something tells me it's the first one. Next up is Nerf Dart. Perhaps bringing in a Nerf gun could get you into trouble as you could shoot people with it. But it turns out, a single Nerf dart can get you suspended. Adrian Moody had just returned from his summer vacation in 2015. During his vacation, he'd been playing with his Nerf gun, shooting Nerf darts into the ground. And to make them stick into the ground better, he would stick toothpicks in them. Well, one day, he accidentally slipped one of these toothpick Nerf darts into his pocket. He then went to school and reached into his pocket to grab a piece of paper. But as he did that, the Nerf dart fell out. You'd assume this wouldn't be a big deal and the teacher would just take it away. But no, the school suspended him for making weaponry. Adrian is 11 and has learning difficulties, so he really didn't understand what was going on. The school actually tried to expel him, but later reduced it to a two day suspension. One thing's for sure, this is one dumb reason to suspend someone. Coming up next, we have Fidget Spinner. Who remembers Fidget Spinners? They were a big craze in the summer of 2017. Like many trends at school, they get kids into trouble. But one kid named Jace was using his fidget spinner for concentration as he had ADD. His grade went up from a C to a B, which is a big improvement. But he was soon suspended for his fidget spinner. He wasn't causing trouble with it, but the school said it was too similar to a ninja star. Something tells me those guys have never seen a ninja. Now Jace is suspended and doesn't have his fidget spinner, which increased his grades. Talk about a bad school. Next up is Like. From this video, it's clear that toy guns can get you into trouble at school. And in some cases, even talking about a gun can get you into hot water. But what about liking a picture of a gun at home? A school in Ohio discovered a grade 7 student named Zachary Bolin had liked a photo of a gun. He was called to the principal's office as he entered school the next day. He was patted down and checked for guns and then was suspended. This caused outrage and the school even refused to reveal how they found out he liked a photo of a gun on Instagram. Something here doesn't seem right. Scratch that. A lot of things don't seem right. Next up is Toy Soldiers. One nine-year-old at an elementary school in Michigan bought in a cake as it was his birthday. They were cupcakes with green army figures on top. His teacher removed them before the class ate the cakes as they were made of plastic. But then she decided to call the boy's parents and he was suspended. She said they created fear for the other kids in the class. The parents said the soldiers are heroes and there's nothing wrong with the toys. What do you guys think? Next up is Pop-Tart. We already know that toy guns can get kids kicked out of school, and even liking a photo of a gun can do the same thing. But this one here proves that schools have gone crazy and will kick kids out for anything. Seven year old Josh Welch ate his pop tart into the shape of a gun. He showed a friend that he did this as a joke, but his teacher was not laughing, and he got suspended. He has ADD, but despite this, he was still suspended. They also sent home a letter to all parents saying their kids could apply for counseling due to what happened. And then they got a law to be passed in Florida saying you cannot make a patient into something that resembles a firearm. It's official, the world's gone crazy. Next up we have Airsoft. Toy guns can sting, but they're usually harmless. The gun shoots spring-loaded plastic BB bullets, but despite them not being too dangerous, you shouldn't bring them to school. But two kids got in trouble for playing with the toys in their backyard. Khalid, Caraballo, and Aiden Clark were messing around with the guns in their backyard before leaving for school, but a neighbor woman saw them and called the cops. She said she knew they were toys, but still felt unsafe. Their school then expelled them, and they were forced to attend a different school. I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure that neighbor won't be getting invited around for Thanksgiving. 
Next up is Bubble Gun. We've already seen the Hello Kitty Bubble Gun that got a kid suspended. But that's not the only Bubble Gun that got a kid suspended. One kid brought a frozen Bubble Gun into school. She didn't shoot any bubbles, but was suspended immediately. The school then made it a rule for parents to check their kids' bags before they leave for school. I'm sure, I'm sure glad I didn't go to that school. Believe it or not, they actually called the frozen Bubble Gum a dangerous weapon. Coming up next is Nerf. This is an example of kids using toys for good, but still getting punished for it. Two elementary school students were suspended after bringing in Nerf guns. The pair went to Chase Lake Elementary with the guns, but they weren't to be used for fun on the playground. They'd actually got permission from their math teacher to bring them in. They were doing a project on probability and math. Their project consisted of them shooting Nerf darts at a target and recording the probability of hitting Bullseye. However, they were still punished, while their teacher who allowed them to bring in the guns was not punished. Next up on the list is Water Gun. As kids, I'm sure we all played with water guns. Well, this second grade student called Josiah Green was kicked out after taking a water gun into gym class. He was given a big fat 10 day suspension. He's only seven, so he was baffled as to what he did wrong. And as if it couldn't get any worse, the school then tried to expel Josiah. However, luckily after a long battle, his mother made it so he could stay at the school. But then again, after that, would you really want to? Check out the poll in the top right corner and you can vote for the craziest toy that got a kid suspended or arrested or in trouble. I think it's the airsoft, because I used to play with them all the time as a kid. This video shoutout goes to Eric A. Subscribe and turn on notifications and comment down for a shoutout in the next video. But as always, thanks for watching. Check out some more videos on screen right now. Leave a like if you enjoyed and if you haven't already, what are you waiting for? Subscribe.